Yo, 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 what's up? This your boy XV coming through with another episode of the X Vision Files. And then this one, man, I got a good one. Um, This one is about um, an ex psychic that, you know, turned their life to Christ, you know, all praises. And um, she's telling her little testimony, and they're going to be talking about crystals and, you know, the things modern day people do especially women with these crystals and tarot cards and, you know, all this other various, you know, demonic stuff <clears throat> and activities that they indulge in. You feel me? So without further ado, we're going to play this video. Let's hear what she got to say. So I want to talk about crystals with you, and we'll get a little bit into herbs as well, but crystals have become this massive phenomenon. Young people are using them, and we'll talk about those numbers in a bit, but can you tell us a little bit about what this process or this practice, rather, of using crystals entails? This is um, so new age in depth, uh, using crystals for protection, for uh, to ward off evil, for enlightenment, to uh, bring about psychic awareness, to place on chakras, thinking you're going to open them up and, and um, use the energy from the crystals. This whole thing is relying on energy with crystals. Um, I had a crystal uh, heart rose quartz a pendant made for myself because I believed it was going to draw love I was also manifesting at the time, um, my spouse, my future spouse. But people are going to crystals um, all the time for protection. They believe it's going to protect them uh, from negativity, from illness, um, all, all sorts of things, Billy. It's, it's really s s scary. And it's big. It, it, it is. Yes, it's, it's very, very scary, man. You know, that people will rely on rocks and crystals instead of the creator. You know, that's that's who's really going to protect you from from, you know, the 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 the, the woes of of evil. You know, that's what's going to that's who's going to protect you from demons. That's what's going to protect you from demon possession and, you know, all types of stuff. Excuse me. y'all. I'm, I'm sorry. I forgot to put my phone on. Do not disturb. But um, anyway. Yeah. You know, so, you know, I don't know. I don't understand why people be praying to crystals and be doing tarot card readings and like I never get that you know what I'm saying let's continue it is scary and it's interesting because this history apparently goes back hundreds and thousands uh, thousands of years this is not a new practice of seeing these stones as having some sort of power I mean it almost sounds on the surface almost laughable or ridiculous but yet many people this is a very real it is it is it's very laughable and ridiculous because you're supposed to rely on God. You're supposed to rely on Christ. So I don't it is very laughable. You know, when I be seeing people walking around with them little crystal rocks, like, you know, them necklaces with the little crystals on the end, I'm just be looking at them like you worshiping a rock. You know, and, and it says in the scripture that you don't supposed to you don't supposed to worship God's creations. You're supposed to worship the creator, which is him. So, like, I don't know why people don't don't get that part, but a lot of people is not into the Bible like that. Practice for them. You talked about your own practice there, and, and I don't know a lot about the different stones, but I know Rose Quartz is one, obviously, for creating relationships, and there are a number of other ones that are out there that people use. Um, what, let me throw the number out of you because we were given some statistics by Springtide Research that 44% of young people, 44% between the ages of 13 and 25, are using crystals and herbs. What is your reaction to that statistic? Wow. Wow. I, I'm heartbroken by that to start because it just shows how um, deceptive the devil is, number one, and how he's not even hiding. These kids are so exposed to witchcraft these days, and they're really looking for something. They're really looking to feel better. They're really looking for identity. They're looking for love. They're looking for all the things that only God can do, um, but they're not hearing about God. They're hearing about crystals. 
mass and it's trendy and it's it's spiritually dangerous. It's witchcraft, Billy. It's witchcraft because you are invoking. Once you go to that crystal and um, you think you're going to uh, manifest something from that, whether it's health, protection, increase your happiness, increase your wealth, what have you, self-confidence, you're in, you are invoking demons because the demons are the ones that have the power. I have to tell you, the crystal is a rock that God created. It can't do any of those things for you. Exactly. She absolutely right. <clears throat> the demons, the one possesses all the power. It's not the rock. So if you think you manifested something through a rock, no, it's the demon that's manifesting the things through you. It's just the demon wants you to keep using that rock that it's using. You feel what I'm saying? It wants you to keep using it. So it's going to grant you, I mean, it's going to manifest, quote unquote, what you want. Because you thinking that's from, you know, a higher power. You thinking that's from the creator, but it's not really. It's from a devil. It's from a demon. You know, demons are very real, man. Well, that's and let's go there because what you just said is is incredibly important about what is going on here because there are people who are going to say, "Well, I use crystals and they're wonderful. They're changing my life. They're, they're you know, the rose quartz is bringing me love and positive relationships." And they're going to see that their use of these stones, right? That that is what is doing this. But what you're saying is that by putting their faith in that, and correct me if I'm wrong here, by putting their faith in those stones and trying to use them in that way, they're actually attracting evil in that. And that's where they're seeing these quote unquote positive benefits that aren't necessarily positive. Exactly. Exactly. See, it's, it's evil that that's, it's the evil that's giving you what you want. Cause so if you really thinking that, these crystals are working. If you really think sage is helping you, like that's the demon that's making you think that. You know what I'm saying? It's it, it, it's like it's like you it's like it's like the demon puts you in an illusion. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like no, like you you know the crystals, you know, <clears throat> it's not really doing nothing. It's the demon. So you know if you enter crystals and. And tarot cards and stuff like that, throw that shit away. Burn it. Just burn it, throw it away. And, 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 and turn to Christ. Turn to the Most High, man. That's right. 100%. You hit the nail on the head. They're making a, a choice willingly to put their faith and trust in God's creation rather than the creator, rather than God who made those beautiful rocks. And he exactly. See, she just said it. Exactly. You're putting your faith into his creation instead of him. That's a problem. Did make them and they're beautiful. And that's where where it ends. So when you start um, using them for divination, for witchcraft, and you may not realize that that's what you're doing, those, but that's what it is. You are invoking demons and the demons are the ones who are manipulating circumstances, who are planting um, ideas. Uh, and some of these things become almost self-fulfilling because the demons really can manipulate uh, things around you. And you'll pay attention to those to those. Um, you know, circumstances and make things happen too. Yeah. And you know, this, this other piece of this puzzle, because when springtide asked young people, they, they sort of clumped together this use of crystals and then, you know, herbs. And, and there are a lot of different herbs out there apparently for, for different things. And it's an interesting conversation because, and I want to separate this out and feel free to maybe speak to this when I'm done and correct me or, or add or agree, but you know, it's one thing to use essential oils or to use herbs to heal things that God's given us. You know, we take, them because we take vitamins, let's say, that have certain things in them, um, you know, medicinally or for health. It's another thing to rely on these on these herbs in a magical sense. Do you want to speak to that at all? Absolutely. I would say the biggest one that stands out to me, of course, is sage. Um, and that is so trendy. I hate to use that word, but it's true. Uh, sage is actually, burning sage is called smudging, and it was a Native American cultural practice. Uh, they believed that they were purifying their uh, space around them, getting rid of negative energy. And of course, that trickles into, you know, clearing your space of demons. As a former psychic medium, that was a part of my ritual before doing readings. Uh, we would sage the room. I got hired to smudge people's 
comes and I would be channeling and the idea again is that the sage will protect you from demons or from this negative energy but the truth of the matter is that demons don't care about they're not afraid of sage they're only afraid of Jesus Christ so I argue that even going to sage or any other herb if you will um, and you're putting again your faith and trust in these items these created things for your protection for your spiritual safety you're invoking you're attracting i mean i'm sure they're laughing those demons are laughing at you you're not protecting anything it's 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 a horrible thing to do it's a horrible idea sage is delicious for eating and for cooking i like to cook i use sage very good but not um it won't do anything for you in regards to satanic attacks demonic attacks demonic oppression if anything you will become oppressed by using it and by burning it and christ is greater than culture and that exactly exactly she said a mouthful right there <clears throat> she really did say a mouthful right there because like that's 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 what it is People be burning sage, be thinking they be doing something. When you're not doing that, all you're doing is drawing the demons. All you're doing is just drawing the demons. You're not really warring them off or doing anything, you know? Especially if you didn't repent, you know, if you didn't accept Christ as your savior and, 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 and you know, y'all as your creator. If you didn't do that, then the, the demon's going to attack you all day. Ain't no sage going to do nothing, you know? And, you know, like I said, demons are very real, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy that you got ex, you got ex psychics. I did a video like, er, like months ago. I, I think I did a video some months ago about an ex saintiness. Like she turned over her life to Christ. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, it's the last days, man. Like we got to get to it, man. You know, but um, that's it for this episode right here, man. More content coming through. Um, I got work to do, man. I got to do some more episodes, you know. Um, got to catch up, you know. But uh, anyway, man, this your boy XV. Came through with another episode of the X-Vision Files. And y'all stay up. May the most high bless y'all.